My brother didn't see nationalities, he didn't see religions, he just saw people in need. I want to visit communities across our nation of all faiths and none. I want to speak to people, discuss with them how to make a difference, how we can fight this hate and this discord and stand together. I am calling on all of us, every community, every faith, to make one simple gesture, one act, one moment that brings people together. I was quite nervous last <laughs> night. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know how you were going to react. Both of you gentlemen coming here and respecting our thoughts and beliefs as well is, is very difficult. If you start hiding things, you build walls. Yeah. And this message of unity and hope is only going to work if I don't build walls. Yeah. It hadn't kind of clicked with me that actually there's a huge amount of grieving within the Muslim community, also for David, and actually, you know, that your coming here has helped that help to process that. I think for me this has been a way of us uh, mourning the loss of your brother as a collective, yeah. which I think has been very, very powerful. We already are fighting the hatred and discord they wish to sow amongst our communities. Mm. It's not just only the Muslim community, it is all our communities, all our different peoples. We all need to open our arms. All I can say is take my hand to be my friend. <laughs> I want David's legacy to be about unity and hope. Tissues, please. <laughs> Only if we stand together, we can fight this fear and hatred. This is what my brother would have wanted. <laughs>